Hello, welcome back. The last time I showed you how to search for recently uploaded um, coronavirus sequences on this GIS8 website. So you know that the sequences that are uploaded here are genomes that is the contain the entire genomic sequence of the coronavirus organisms from the lineage or from the clade or from whatever source they come from. So what I'm going to show you today is how to find the open reading frame of these coronavirus sequences that are uploaded. Let's say, for example, hypothetically, you are working in a research laboratory, someone tested positive for COVID-19, and you, after the person tested COVID, uh, positive for COVID-19, and you, you isolated that, uh, you extracted the DNA from that COVID-19, and you did uh, a sequencing technology to get the amino acid sequence of that particular um, coronavirus, and then you want to know how many open reading frames are available on that particular COVID-19, uh, on that particular coronavirus that you sequenced or you isolated. So the first thing we want to do here is we have to download our sequence from the GIS-8 website. So in order to do that, we come here on this search menu. You click on it. And our example today will be based on the latest update the latest sequence that has been uploaded here so we'll pick this one right here this was uploaded 2021 the 7th month on the 9th so we click on it and it is from the beta coronaviruses and it is the b117 which is the alpha and this sequence is from Spain, Zaragoza. It was taken from a female patient at, with the age of 38. So what they did is that this person tested positive, positive for COVID-19 and they took that sample and did some sequencing and they obtained the, nucle the nucleotide sequence of that coronavirus. So the, this is the whole genomic sequence of that coronavirus. This make up the entire covid 19 that particular COVID-19 virus they, they isolated from that lady. So what we need to do now is to check what are the open reading frames on this whole genomic sequence. And so what I'm going to do is to copy. You can Usually you can just download from here, but I don't want to download. I just want to copy directly from here. And so let's open a new tab right here and do Oh, let's go to Google and put ORF Finder NCBI. You click on that. So you click on this first option, ORF Finder NCBI. Here, what it says is that ORF Finder, ORF represent open reading frame Finder. Re searches for open reading frames in the DNA sequence you enter. That is our sequence, this one. If we enter it, this ORF algorithm on this NCBI website will show us all of the open reading frames that are available. The program returns the range of each open reading frame that it will show us how many nucleotides exist between one open reading frame to another, along with its protein translation. Use open reading frame finder to search newly sequenced DNA for potential protein encoding segments. That is, we know that this sequence is a newly sequenced one, so we want to know, um, we want to know what are the open reading frames that are available. And if you know the open reading frames that are available, you can use it to do a lot of things. You can target that particular open reading frame and carry on a translation or a transcription. That's up to you for more, more, more manipulation. It depends. So here is where you enter either the accession number. If you want to, the, to enter the accession number, you cannot use this GIS-8 accession number. Instead, you'll have to use an accession number from NCBI. So since we don't have the NCBI accession number yet, and we don't know if this sequence has been uploaded to the NCBI, we are just going to copy this one from here. 
this entire sequence copy and we paste it right here you have two options you can either copy the sequence and post paste it in here or you can copy the accession number from ncbi so we all we leave all of these ones in default and submit so it's loading so currently the open reading frames found is 55 open, 155 open reading frames are found with the genetic code is one the start codon is atg only so here our first open reading frame highlighted is open reading from 55 and how do you know the highlighting it's because here the highlighted frame is three so it selects here so you can see if i select down here it will shift and so on and the next thing we want to see here is the start and stop codon so open the in frame three open reading frame 55 starts at nucleotide at the nucleotide 3267 remember this guy is over 3000 sequences so open reading frame the length of the nucleotide or amino acids is 10170 to 3389 of amino acids and so on and so forth so you can see all of these individual open reading frames and for each open reading frame you click on you find the amino acids available right here you see how many open reading from 72 have 263 amino acids right here so you can display the open reading frame in different forms as well so let's see this open reading frame here it has 59 amino acids and it's available right here so you can take it and you can do other searches if you want so it is displaying the open reading frame here is displaying as a protein sequence not as a nucleotide sequence if you want to search this open reading frame also you can go and do it at the ncbi blast so basically this is how you find open reading frames and the next time we will make a tutorial on how to pick one of these open reading frames and go to ncbi blast search to search this open reading frame and see in which one of the coronavirus lineages it is available in so basically this is it for today and thank you very much i hope this video was helpful if it is make sure to subscribe if you have any questions or any requests make sure you leave it in the comment section and until then take care of yourself and please stay safe